Don Scherfe with the Moses Lake School District Maintenance Department, Facilities Manager. Welcome to Maintenance. In our department, there are 26 staff members, ranging from secretaries, parts and supplies, electricians, plumber, carpenter, painter, HVAC crew, key and door specialist, and irrigation and grounds crew. Our intention is to work behind the scenes, not to interrupt the daily activities of students and staff. Most of the maintenance staff works early in the morning to achieve this goal and is appreciated by all school staff members. The crew maintains our educational and support buildings, including 250 acres in landscaping and grass, 10,000 sprinkler heads, 70 miles of irrigation piping, 750 air handling units, 3,000 air handling filters, each filter getting changed every four months, 5,000 light fixtures, 900 toilets and urinals, 1,300 sinks, and 2,800 doors and locks. Our new buildings, Sage, Park, CB Tech, and Transportation, are heated and cooled from centrally located glycol system. The rest of the air handling in the districts are from individual roof-mounted units. The refrigerant gas in our old air handling units has been discontinued for EPA reasons. The R22 gas has increased in price from $150 per bottle a few years ago to $800 a bottle lately. The gas cost increase and parts availability weighs heavily on our decisions to either keep repairing an old unit or purchase new. As you can imagine, lighting is a high priority in the district. Most of our lighting are from original fluorescent fixtures installed from the mid-90s remodel. When we have an opportunity of adding new fixtures or replacing old, we try to modernize to LED fixtures. With LED upgrades, sometimes our PUD will provide financial incentives. We are in the process of purchasing an interior LED lighting package for our Lakeview Elementary. With the reduced power consumption from LED lighting, the package should pay for itself in four to five years. The past several years, we have been modernizing our irrigation pump equipment. Our focus lately has been to add variable frequency drives to our well motors. This allows us to maintain a consistent water pressure, increasing water efficiency through our sprinkler heads, and reducing water hammer in the piping. All of our irrigation controls run through a system that we can access from anywhere we have internet services. This comes in handy when we get a call at 10 in the evening of a grass geyser flooding the school grounds. We can jump on the control system from wherever and shut the system down. Our mowing equipment consists of two 16-foot deck mowers, three 6-foot deck mowers, five four four foot trim mowers and four regular push mowers. Snow dumps add to our workload as well. When there's a large snow load, we run our trucks and as many outside plow contractors as we can nonstop for about 30 hours. This gets the district functional again. We come back in the following days to clean up the details. Custodians get around the building, sidewalks, and entryways. We have six truck plows and three large truck mounted ice mill spreaders. Maintaining our 300,000 gallon high school pool has been something we all take pride in. Our new pool building has made a big impact on our local swimming community and draw swim teams from across the state. Two of our maintenance technicians are consistently monitoring and making adjustments to maintain the optimum safe chlorine balance in the water. One of the maintenance technicians is a certified scuba diver that can make any needed repairs underwater. Keeping our roof sealed has been a big challenge for the crew. The last two years, we have worked on applying a special coating to seal up the membranes on Longview and about half of Frontier's roofs. The practice other than coating is spot patching. Our older buildings went through a remodel about 20 to 25 years ago. Even with the heavy use, the maintenance department is still doing a good job keeping these buildings safe and functional for our kids. Thank you for allowing me to give you a brief tour of maintenance, some of our progress and some of our challenges. Thank you.